Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and today we're going to be talking about my favorite, favorite Ellie and Mac rumpers. Alright friends, so first we're going to start with the vacation rumper. So this is the vacation rumper. It is a tank. It is a spaghetti strap style rumper. It goes all the way through. The one good thing about this pattern is that you will cut a front and a back together. So it's just one seamless rumper. Um, I also love that it's got the binding at the neck. So it gives it that really nice finished look. Um, it's got the option for pockets. So we always love pockets, especially with rumpers. And I love how it's got this shape at the bottom so it kind of lays really really nicely when you're just walking around town or on vacation a cruise whatever it is um, I made this one with some rayon spandex so as you can see it kind of stretches out a little bit and it gives that like really nice like easy breezy kind of vibe um, so I love that I love um, the, the leg shape also it kind of goes down into uh, like the narrower at the bottom and so that's super cute as well but I think that if you didn't want it to go so narrow at the bottom you can trim off some of the bottom um, when you're cutting out your pattern I just think that this is a super super comfy and cute casual um, I think you could put a little jean jacket on and it would look so so super cute so I am loving this rumper pattern because it's just easy to travel with, um, no waistbands, no seams, nothing. So you just feel comfortable all day long. I also love the fact that this one offers a kid version so you can match your little one and just have lots of fun going around town or playing at the playground, um, lounging. So it is a super, super fun rumper. All right, next is the cold shoulder rumper cold shoulder I love the culture of the rumper I love this cold shoulder detail on the rumper it is super cute and it is done with uh, banding so um, it's actually pretty pretty simple um, I love the neckline of it and I just think it looks super super cute um, this rumper has lots and lots of options so you have first of all you have the option to make it into a rumper or you have the option to make it into a jumper which is uh, the skirt option so you have an option to do the bottoms as pants or as a skirt so I'll show you those and I just love it I've made both versions so this is obviously a pant version and I've made the dress version as well and they both fit super super cute um, I love that it's got super uh, it's got different lengths of the sleeve so this is a three-quarter sleeve it's also got a short sleeve and a long sleeve um, it's got the cuffs which I love I love cuffs um, it's also got the different lengths for the bottoms um, you can make shorts caprice or long these are all the way long and then the skirt um, it's got a drawstring waistband it is actually a working a drawstring so you can tighten it and loosening it and it shows you on the instructions how to make the waist uh, the drawstring waistband which I love um, and how to actually make the drawstring too if you want to match up the colors like I did on this one it's got the option to have zippered pockets so you have a zipper pocket um, but I did not put pockets on this one because I wanted it more of a simple casual look. I love that this one kind of looks like a little onesie so it's super super comfy and I made this one with French Terry so it's just like really really fun to hang out and lounge in. Um, I love the fact that it's got um, the cuffs at the bottom of the pants as well so it kind of brings it in and it gives it a really cute look. Um, and yeah, this is the culture of the romper. Go check it out. Y'all, next on my lineup is of course the South Shore romper. This one is a must. If you don't love rompers, that's okay, but you need this one. This one is one of my favorite rompers. Um, it is super, super flattering and super, super cute. Um, I love the neckline of this rumper. It's a crossover neckline, so I love that detail. Um, it's got different size sleeves. So this is a short sleeve, obviously, three quarters long sleeve. It actually has an option for a bell sleeve, which gives it a super, super cute look um, when it's a bellowing um, bell sleeve. Um, so that is so gorgeous, especially with the short version. Um, it's got 
now we're talking about shorts version it's got different lengths on the bottoms it's got the shorts the capri and the pant version um so i love that about it um it's got this um we do a uh, waistband so like to bring in the waist right here and also it's got option of pockets which we all know we love pockets. So I love this one for more of a dressier option of your of romper dreams. Um, it is super cute. This one's made in cut and lycra, so it's super soft and comfortable, and you, I can wear it anywhere um, because I just love it so, so much, so very much. Um, and the really neat thing about this one is that it is you can dress it up or you can also dress it down by the different fabrics and it, there's also a kid version so your little one can match you as well so it is super cute all right next is the summer nights rumper now if you're looking for a pattern with options look no farther go grab this pattern this is a pattern full 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 of options i am in love with this rumper it is super cute it's got um, this elasticated um, neckline so you can pull it down on the on your shoulders I do like the fact that if I make this elastic a little bit tighter it sits up higher on my shoulders um, so I like that because sometimes I don't want to bother with my shoulders going up and down so I just place it on my shoulders and I love it I love the fact that it's got different length sleeves as well so short uh, three quarters and long and it's got the cute little, um, this is a, an elasticated waistband. So it cinches at the waist and it gives like, almost like you have a waistband effect right here. Um, it's got pockets. I love the, the set of this pockets. These are inset pockets. They're not side seam pockets. They're actually on the, you, you sew them on as you're sewing the whole pattern together. You sew them on the front first and then sew the legs together. So I love those pockets right here. They're super cute. It's got different length on the bottoms as well but this pattern has got so much more than just the simple basic rumper okay we can do a rumper with a flounce so there's an option to add the flounce to your top which is also a super cute detail to give it that fun flirty look um, we've also got separates so let's say you only want the top you want this beautiful looking top but you don't want the bottoms up attached with it because you don't really are not really into rumpers guess what we also have the top version there's different kinds of sleeves so it's got the bigger sleeve too so if you are all about a sleeve you've got the beautiful sleeve to accompany this rumper and not only that but you say well i really love the bottoms i don't want the top connected to the bottoms you can do it as separate because it also comes with the bottoms separated um so you can do just the bottoms just the top the top and the bottom are separate or the rumper version so this is why this pattern is so versatile because there's a lot of times you say i want the look of the rumper but i don't want it to be a rumper because let's face it sometimes it gets a little awkward especially when you gotta go you know what i mean <laughs> but if you do it as separate then you can still have that look of a rumper but have the accessibility of separates which you know I just love how it looks as a romper and I don't have an issue so um I I love the romper version this is really literally one of my favorite rompers I know I say that I said that about some other ones too but I really do truly love it I made this one with a double brush poly and it's got just that comfy uh summery look that I just love but then I can also dress it up with I say this a lot too a jean jacket and it would be more towards the uh, fall and stuff like that so this is just a perfect transitional piece just because it's called the summer nights romper doesn't mean you only get to wear it in the summer right right okay <laughs> all right last but certainly not least is the off shoulder romper look at how cute this is i love that this one has got a uh, different kind of neckline this is a straight uh like banded and neckline so it gives it this really clean almost kind of sporty look beautiful but you can also dress it up depending on fabric um i love that this is just a great one for lounging around and having fun because the bottoms are more of a jogger style bottom um so it does get cuffs at the bottom and you can make it long or short and you can also do the shorts version um, but I love that it's more of a comfy type of pattern uh, this one I'm gonna say it again I know you're gonna be like oh you said it about all the other ones but these are my top favorite um, rompers so I'm gonna say it 
This is one of my favorites. I love this rumper. I love how comfortable it is. I love how easy it is to wear. So this one is also has got an elasticated waistband. It's a little bit lower. So if you say, okay, look at the summer nice rumper, it kind of looks alike, but it's there's a couple of differences that are very key to making the different um, rumpers. Um, this one has got lower waistline, so it makes it sit a little bit lower so for more of that comfortable flowy fit. Um, again, I mentioned already the um, the um, the neckline. This is a um, banded neckline, which gives it like that like more comfortable look and feel. Um, and so it's a little bit different in that sense. It's got the full ties, so these are not a working drawstring, kind of like um, the uh, cold shoulder has a working drawstring, but this one is just uh, for looks. But if you wanted to put in a drawstring that works, you could definitely do that as well. You just use the same steps that you use for the cold shoulder romper. Um, it's got those in pockets that I love because they, they look super cute, they feel super cute, and they're super easy to sew, actually. Um, I love, like I mentioned, the banded at the bottom because it gives it that, like, that jogger pant type of feel. So it's super comfy and super cute. It's got different lengths for the bottoms. I think I already mentioned that, but I'll mention it again. Um, it's got the different lengths and it's got the different length sleeves. So it, this one is one of the must-haves. So I know I said that about all of them. So you do need to just go grab them all because they are all super gorgeous and super fun to sew. Now, I know that sometimes we get a little bit stuck, especially when we look at a romper and we say, my goodness, could I really sew that up? Yes, you can. I am here to tell you you can do it. And if you need a little bit of help, because sometimes we do, there are videos for all these rumpers on our, on our channel. So I'm gonna add the link of above every rumper. So if you wanna go back and check it out and click on the link and go sew it up with me, um, and you can see just how easy it is to make these rumpers. And also, there is, I, um, I'll add it and the information below, there is a link for how you can measure your side waist. Now, one of the things, as with all rumpers, um, Sometimes we struggle. I struggle getting a rumper off the shelf, you know, when you're buying at the store because I have a longer torso. And so when that, that rumper fits me in size, it's oftentimes too short on my torso and it ends up looking like I'm just trapped in this little tiny rumper. Um, so one thing I love about sewing my own is that I can make change, make the changes I need to make it fit my um, body, which is a great thing about sewing. You can make it fit you, you know, because we're all different. So we should all be in different um, measurements and stuff like that. So there is a video of how to measure your side waist, which means you can measure how long your rumper is going to be in this area right here. So that way, when you make your rumper, you're not all tied up in it. You have enough room for, for your trunk to fit in your rumper. So that is a great tool to use. Go check that video out so you can measure yourself and get to sewing these beautiful rumpers and just have an amazing time going around town in the comfiest of outfits and also super cute. This one I made in a French terry. This is a French terry uh, tie-dye, which is super, super soft. So I am just like all about the lounging vibes and all that stuff. So I just love it, love it, love it. Um, so yeah, this was my last romper. Um, these are my top five. I love all of them. So go grab them, check them out. Um, come find us on Facebook and Instagram so you can see what, how everybody made their rompers and you can be inspired by all their makes. And then you can show us your beautiful rompers that you're gonna be making because we wanna see them and we wanna be inspired by you. Comment below and let me know which one is your favorite and which one you're gonna go ahead and grab and sew up first. Um, and then also let me know what do you love about rompers? What is your favorite thing about rompers? I have to say, my favorite thing about rompers is just the comfort. I think they're super comfortable and super easy to just throw on and you have a hold together outfit and that's it. Walking out and being ready. I love it. So, I hope you have a great rest of your day and comment below and let me know what else you want to see, what top fives you want to see or what you want to see from this channel and I'll see you all next time. Bye!